I'm going to try to show you how to do a couple of calculus related things. Um, so first of all, I'm going to define a function, um, which you do by uh, typing f of x, do colon equals, which you find on the keypad, um, so cosine of 3x plus sine of 2x, and hopefully you know that there's a trig button here, but it's faster for me to type it. It should say done if I did that correctly. Um, next thing I'm going to do is evaluate the derivative of that at a point. So um, what I want to do is, I'll actually show you. If you press menu, go to calculus, derivative at a point. Um, the variable is x because that's the variable in the function. Uh, the value, let's say I wanted at um, x equals uh, 1.2 and I want the first derivative. So I'm going to press um, OK now and what I need to do here is enter the function. Well I already stored it, so that's just f of x and gives me the value and then I can approximate it. Somehow it turned that into a fraction and then did that. I don't know uh, how or why it does that. It doesn't do that for other things. Um, and I can go back and x again, 1.2 again. Uh, I press to the right to get this. Uh, or you probably just click it. Um, second derivative, OK. And then uh, f of x again, which you should get used to hitting the var key for that. And that, once again, so it got me the first and the second derivative. And that is something that you definitely need to know how to do. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do really quickly is to graph the first and second derivative. So in this case, what I'm going to do is go into the templates and choose this, press X. And then I want to graph the first derivative of uh, f of x. So, whoa, what's going on here? Um, your calculator behaves differently when you do that, but I'm not sure what mine is doing. So I'm just actually going to type f of x here. Okay, um, It can graph it no matter which calculator you have. If you have the CAS, you could actually have found the derivative first. Uh, but if you don't have a CAS, you can still do this. There's a weird bug, I think, on the calculator where if you press tab when you're in a template, it just bumps you out. It's kind of inconvenient, but, um, you know, so don't do it. And there's my second derivative. Uh, it's kind of messy here, so I will change my window to uh, be a little better. So I'm going to go from, uh, I don't know, 0 to maybe 2 pi, and then from... Uh, Looks like uh, negative, I don't know, negative 30 to 30. I'm just making stuff up at this point. But that gives me a much better looking picture. So those are some of the things you need to be able to do. And so we have done them. Uh, good luck with that.